guys, this is Rebecca. Welcome back to my new video. I'm on the A331 and how many times have you driven under this hidden aqueduct? Well, I'm saying hidden, but it's actually right in front of your eyes. So I have driven past that a few times. So let's go there. But before we get into the video, quickly something personal. I can see on the graph that 70% of the people watching my videos have not subscribed. So I'm asking you, as it's completely free, please subscribe. Subscribing, liking and commenting on my videos is really supporting me. So I'm already saying thank you very much. So we're now on top of the Ash Aqueduct and behind me, down here, you can see the A331 do a carriageway and we're in the middle of the junctions Aldershot and Farnborough and the Ash Aqueduct is also the border from the counties Hampshire and Surrey. So Hampshire is in this direction and Surrey is in this direction. so many questions about the aqueduct and I found someone who knows the story and who knows a lot of facts and it's Councillor Keith Dibble. Hello Keith. How Good are morning you? Rebecca, how are you? Good, how are you? Very well. A cold but uh, enjoyable morning by the canal. And it's starting to snow. Yes, yeah. So as we're standing here, what was the aqueduct actually used for? Okay, well the A331 had been planned for many years. It's effectively the, they call it the Blackwater Valley Relief Road, which is the bypass for all the shot in Farnborough. And one of the engineering challenges of building the bypass was how do you um, arrange for the canal either to go under or over the new road. Originally the plan was to go under with a number of lock gates, but that was considered um, not really the right solution. So the planners came up with an idea for an aqueduct i.e. taking the canal over the road. And how should that look like? Well, the original plan was of a uh, very tall tower um, holding up the, uh, the, the bridge, which is in fact the aqueduct. Similar to the one, if anyone's familiar with the M25 by Chertsey, where there is a uh, flyover there with, with tall towers. When those plans were put forward, um, there was an immediate uh, pushback from local residents of Greenway, and of, and of Ash, and working with uh, my then fellow Lord Councillor, um, the late Jim White, and the Surrey County Councillor for Ash, we arranged a number of meetings with residents and lobbied the various authorities, and they changed their plans to the uh, viaduct which has subsequently been built. So, because it was just far too big and it would make the houses tight. It would have dwarfed the houses in Greenway and that, that any view from their back gardens or from the road would have been this huge tower. And in fact, the final design, I think, is very good. Yeah, it's very pretty. And it's like, what, what people do here? They go for a walk or...? The, the canal, actually, the towpath of the canal is probably one of the hidden treasures of, uh, of all the shop and surrounding areas. Um, as we've seen this morning, it's very popular with walkers, dog walkers, runners and cyclists. But in fact, it does link up with the Blackwater Valley path. So in fact, you can have a a walk effectively within the countryside along the towpath of the canal or the river within minutes of uh, leaving your home in an urban area. And do you know how long it took to build that all? Well to plan the road was about 20 to 30 years. So long? Um, and then around about 1990, 91, the formal plans were presented. Um, it was a public consultation period which they, they changed the plans. And I think the, uh, the plaque on the, on the uh, aqueduct says it was opened in uh, 1994 I think. So there is down there and on the other side two strange looking things. Do you know what that is? I don't Rebecca but they could have been lock gates. Um, it may have been that before the aqueduct was built that there were various different levels of the canal but it would be interesting if any local residents would be able to 
to uh, feed back to you what they think they are. But uh, yeah, they're very interesting and there's no plaque or any sign there that says what it is. So if you know what those things are, just comment in the comments and we will follow that up and make a new video about the things here. Um, so I would say thank you very much for the interview that you came out in this cold weather but it was a lot of fun and uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much and the joys of being a dog owner is <laughs> you have to do that walk in all weathers. Thank you so much. Again. Thank you. So I can say it's definitely worth to come here for a walk as long as you follow COVID guidelines. So if you're from this area and don't know what to do with all your time in lockdown, just go for a walk along the beautiful Basingstoke Canal and see the aqueduct. Wow, that was cold. By the way, are there any places you think I should visit? If so, comment below. I hope you have an amazing day. And remember, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you'll always get a notification when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching!